Hello and welcome back to Cultist Simulator with me, Barden. Okay. So, trying to remember what we were doing last time because it's been a while. Um, I'm going to run things on for now and let these things resolve. Actually, we could get some of these ready, right? Let's see what language is in textbook in Sanskrit. Okay, so let's get our Sanskrit scholar ready. You're in there and get that translated. There may have been a reason why I was saving that, but I just have to put up with it for now. How long is that tentative? A lot of time in that tentative evidence. More than six minutes or just over six minutes. Well, we can't create more seers. Oh, we can't create more seers until we get a temporary thing, right? Because this is 14 and then say someone who had like her, um, who has talent, but she doesn't have the, she didn't have the one for here. So she wouldn't be able to, to do it, right? Um, even a temporary one. So you'd have to find people who are of the lantern one that have like Pope here. Pope here, if we got a temporary one worth six, we could promote him to a seer. Okay, so we'll worry about that in a little while. Just gonna... Oh, hang on, work is done. Let's do that. Oh, there we go. Wait, we're in here. We've got a furtive truth. That's what we want. So we're going to take it for now. Many of the dead enter the mansus through the white door. They wander as corridors in silence until they are lost. Some embrace each other. Some devour each other. Some forced their way into the dreams of the living. A few rec record their memories on the mansus stone where it is soft. They scratch it with their nails. You see, their nails, you see. Last night I read one of those memories. Okay. And yeah, let's just collect everything. Right, so we can study that to get a new location, right? So we'll do that once this is done. And then there we got some restlessness, so that's going to lead to us um, getting some dread. Okay, this is ready for us to read. So we said we'd study this first, all right? So let's do that. We have two. Oh, for the truth. Do we just explore with them? Yeah, I think we just explore, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay. So we don't need to worry about waiting for that then. So that means that we can study this straight away. Okay, so what's it all about? Dialogues with an entity called the Crucible Prince. The prince warns about the appetites of the mistress, the burning queen, and the pearl of the naked desire she shares with the sun, but professes his loyalty nevertheless. Okay, cool. Let's run that on. We probably should get to dreaming again. Let's see, wave the spider. I want to dream with you. Not sure what we need here. In my dream, I found a way to the spider door, sometimes called the bloody gate, or more informally, the wrong, the wrong, the 
The what? The wrong door? Um, do we want to be going there? In my dreams, I know the path through the silken sands to the spider's door. For Slake is thirst by spilling fresh blood before a sleep will open to me. Oh, okay. So we need to... One of you dudes, I think, needs to go, right? I think that's how it works. Yeah, I'm not sure that, that I want to be doing that. So that means that maybe... The stag door instead. Okay. In my dreams, another path to the stag door through the maze of the bound of the bounds. Gribbly will let me pass, but the path is always a puzzle. I will need reason. Okay. So there's a reason. The stag door is the adept's gate. To pass it is to be initiated into the first true mystery of the house of the sun. The head Gribbly weeps to see me enter where it cannot, but it must let me pass. The scarred values of the door grind open. Oh, valves, sorry. Okay, so run those on. So I think I've mentioned this before, but once I kind of get settled in Ireland, which is going to be maybe, what, I guess November time? Yeah, because it's going to take us a while to get stuff over there. But once that's done, I'm looking at starting a um, new series on the channel. And I'd like to find a game that is similar to, that has the kind of story element of this. Um, a Obviously played Sunless Sea a lot, and then um, this game is, has that kind of great, really well written story um, element to it. So, if anybody has anything, any kind of suggestions of games that I can play, please post them, and I'll definitely have a look at them. So, health is back. That's good. Okay, so you've taken the dread, which means that we need to find some contentment. Probably you in there, right? Once that's done. Because we can't, we can't um, go on an ex expedition while, while he's still got his tent of evidence. Right, so we have Kerishim. So now we've got two of those. Interesting. I thought those were unique. They're not unique. Okay. And then, so we're going to go there. I'm going to pay our entrance fee. Tonight, the performing, performers pass among the audience, juggling knives or bottles of red glass, bending to bestow whispers or other gifts. Okay. And then here, a right which changes is, nece is necessarily a right which destroys, but a great Chan change requires the destruction of savage extent. So we got uh, a Calidate invocation. Okay, interesting. We're getting we're getting more um, Forge lore than we did when we had a Forge cult. And so then we got the Caesar's Tantra, which looks like it's in Sanskrit as well, but I'll check. Yep, it's in Sanskrit. Okay, so let's use the Sanskrit knowledge on you. Oh, you're going to give us help. That's not as good as we would like. Um, where are we here? Over here. Okay. So we got the Forgotten Chronicle or one of these. We'll go for the Forgotten Chronicle for now. Last night, Gerbley was talkative. He spoke in the siege engine voice of the histories he'd overheard in the waking world. I listened until his stories tailed off again into weeping. Okay, so dreams are done. So we've got that. 
two is in there as well. Okay, and then, oh, we got some contentment out of this as well. Good. Dan suppressed the red glass cup to my mouth. Its lips, its lip was sharp. My mouth is bleeding, but the wine within was a strong wine. Okay, cool. Well, you're going to take that contentment. Happy with that. We're then going to search for this. Little wars, great intrigues, cryptic priesthoods, mystic crimes. All past now, but what traces did they leave? Hmm, interesting. Sounds like it's going to lead somewhere unique, but I could be wrong. Okay, our work is done. Not really. Oops. It's a crazy amount of of um, cars that we have. So many people as well. Okay, so this is ready. Let's see what it says. The Ceaseless Tantra is devoted mostly to warnings about the lively creatures called her Cushigans, but concludes with a chant which can be used to summon them. It observes the percussions can be taught any dance, but they prefer only one. Okay, cool. So another right. Yeah, we're going to have to give summoning a go soon, I think. And we should actually also... Let's go through you again. In my dreams, another path to the stag door. Okay, that's the same as it was or yeah, it needs reason. We shall do that. Let's see. Yeah, it's the same as before. Okay. So where do we get here? Orthos Wood. Oh yeah, that looks like that looks like a new place. It also looks like a new tier of place. So that means that we need to make space to move these cards over here. And then you guys there, and then you can come down here. Right, so we have a higher tier, what looks like a higher tier place at least. You must be not long to go now, yep. Two and a half minutes about. Okay, we've got the fleeting reminiscence. Let's sit there for now. That vitality will be around in time to get rid of you, that's good. Saves us a fund. Although we're not really hurting for funds. Right, so here we got a waking chant. That which does not cease is not ceased. Okay, so you're there. Got a lot of lore for there as well. Then we got you. You're in Sanskrit as well, right? Certainly looks like it. Yep. Okay, so let's translate you. What about your material, right? So you're part of this lot down here. There must be a lot of rights we can do now. We've got so much stuff. Okay, we're in here again. Trembling heart for forge. We don't need that. Okay, so 
one of these two. Let's go to Painted River. Air additional lesson learned. Okay. Gonna... The Painted River runs from a great chamber near the white door, far through the mountains. To its far edge where it enters a painted delta of far cloud. I've voyaged half its length last night with a stern-faced captain beneath a rust-red sail. As the clouds rose before us, the sailors raised a yearning shanty, and clothes hauled the sails to best use the painted wind. And all the while the captain and I discoursed on the secrets of the House of the Sun. Interesting. Okay, so then once you're done, we're going to use um, the affliction that we get from there with this to get rid of it. You can sit there for now, but you're gonna, you're gonna leave us. Okay, he's on the prowl now. We haven't given him a reason to suspect us of any other wrongdoing, so we should be okay in that respect. Look, we're just busily working away as a doctor. You know, how could a doctor as busy as us be of any occult stuff? It's just not possible, is it? But he will pause this for a bit, which will mean that we'll have a minute, minute and a bit after he takes it in, or not after, after he's finished. I think, I think it does get paused right when he's got it there. But then, as soon as that's gone, we're going to go on our next expedition. Right, so here, this one is ready. Let's see what it's all about. The Tantra described elliptical, elliptically the green hooded princes and the multitudinous ways in which they influence wars against foreign invaders of the land of the Great River. Although, in a sense, they were also invaders. Okay, we study that and see what we get out of it. So he's taking, yeah, he's taking the tentative evidence. Should mean that, yeah, it's not counting down now. And that's the trick you can use if you want to keep something. You just, you can just put it in a slot and not actually run the thing on and it'll stay there until either the slot moves on to something else or you move it onto something else. Right, so dreaming then we're gonna go with, um, I'm gonna go with the white door. Let's see if we can get some more lantern lore. In my dreams, another path to the white door, through the bounds. This path is thronged with the dead who pass that way. I will need health to resist their chill. There you go, have some of our health. Now I can approach the white door through the bounds. Now I can press my fingers to it, feel its chill, watch it swing open. As it opens, my mouth closes, tightens, heals over like a lost deformity. Around and about me, in the cobalt light of the mantis. Oh, is, sorry, not in. Like this. Okay, work this done. Straight back out. He's done as well. That's going to count down again. So we've got a minute to go and then we can think of other things. Some rest of the snare. Kind of. Normally the restlessness that, that we get from that, the dread is around at the time when the, when it's actually looking for dread. It's kind of like pretty much synchronized at this stage. Okay. And then there, lions can be created, not as children are created, nor as words are created, but as weapons are created. The great hooded princess, princes learned to create lines from their spying on the affairs of the, of the hours. And not all lines now serve the golden general. Okay. So what did we get out of that? We got the colonel's names. Okay. Let's put you down here and see what you're all about. The colonel has been many things in many ages. He is blind. He is deaf. He cannot be wounded. He cannot be denied. His names are cunning. 
as only the very old can be. Okay, cool. We've got a decent amount of lore for there as well. Right, so... We do kind of need more stuff, right? But again, we have to wait till that guy's gone. We can't jump the gun. So it's almost gone. That's good. And I think we're going to go for one of these. So we've got two of them, so we may as well use one. Okay, so then we got here. We don't want restless, so it's one of these two. Let's go for the Orchard of Lights. Putting airs. Okay, we'll take that. We won't do anything with it. It's okay. The hours have been called immersible, but they permit sleepers sometimes to walk in the orchard of lights, where each fruit glows like a sunset, where the roots of the trees are shaped for peaceful rest, where the mist soothes the heart. I was there last night, and a taste of fruit lingers, sharp and sweet as the passage of spring to summer. Okay, let's collect that. Then, let's see, we're not probably gonna, not going to do anything with you. We'll just pop you there for now. Right. And then, that's about to go, which would be great. Okay, it's gone. So now, um, I want to do, yeah, I want to do that. And reason is, oh no, it's health. That one is health. Okay, start that off. Okay, now. I want to start a new one. So it's going to be, it's going to be you. That's pretty okay. Then, so the leader. What does ascending mean? Now and then the exhibition might have another purpose. In Star Silent, in a silent house beside the sea, in a borrowed skin, we will seek the second change. We must find a place of power at the water's edge. Perhaps Suloshana can help. If I bring her secrets about other places, some part of you can roam in viper shape. Send it to the accompany. Send it to accompany your followers in, in to a place where it can perform the dance you must dance. If you have problems finding the place, talk to Suloshana about secret histories. We don't have Suloshana. Oh, we do. Hmm. So we need a secret history. So maybe we hold back on that then. How about Crocus Hill? Does that have a send? It doesn't have a sending. Okay. So you're going to be the place you go to then. I can send an expedition here to find books, treasures, tools of power, but I need the followers to send and funds to supply them. Okay. And then if we read up about it, the ancient tribes reserve their resting place for one who by the end in service to a certain merciless hour, was more scarred a man. They sealed the entrance with binding songs and mortared, mortared blood. Okay. Right. So our seer is going to lead the mission and your assistant. Somebody, yeah, it's going to be him because he's got edge. Then we Give some funds. The one who came here before us had marked the door in the hillside, and here it may yet be, but it is sealed besides with stones and binding spell. Okay, let's start that. Right, so that's running on. So I need to find, I guess, a history and then talk to her because I bet I can't talk to her right now. Seneschal, or sorry, Sulashana stubs out her cigarette. Yes, if you want to study the language with me, yes, you can. Versus something else, 
So we need to have a secret history to talk to her about, I guess. Okay. I wonder, wonder if it's a certain secret history though. Maybe it is. Right now, what do you guys need? Our expedition plans for the next challenge. It'll consume funds. It can add funds now or it could send another follower. Okay. So let's get her in there because she's got her wait, we can actually check, right? An engineer and adept has ensured this door will not open easily. Forge or knock will defeat it. There we go, Neville has knocked. Right, there you go, Neville. Now we're up to seven knock. Should be good. Hold it on. Okay, so... Oh yeah, you did appear. Which means we need to get some contentment. Here, in here, we got an icy atmosphere. So one of these two. Let's go for Lodge of the Stage Night this time. Oh, we got some fascination. And that was the secret history. Okay. Well, let's put you in there. Last night in the billowing blue of the lodge of the stage night, I sat on velvet cushions and watched two dead contend with shining swords. They came with the place, said the woman who rules here now, the one who once called herself Galmir. I was not the stage knight, if that's what you're wondering. He went higher in the manses, long before I came here. My attention has drifted. The swords sparkle like falling water. The dead move like dancers. Okay, click that. And so we put you there. And stream with health. And see what we get out of it. Hey, okay, what have we got here? We're skilled in uncovering ward of ways. We'll probably penetrate this ward of door. Okay, it means we could do it more knock. Because it says probably, not definitely. Forge would probably help as well. I don't know whether, like, it cumulatively, I don't know whether it takes your highest knock or forge or whether it just adds the two together. Probably does just add the two together, right? Well, you've got knock, so Enid is going to go. And it gets us up to 12 knock. It's pretty decent. Click that. Fascination, right? <clears throat> Let's pop you over there. Okay, what do we get here? We got a fleeting reminiscence. Not great. Okay, so a stream of funds. Let's see if we can get some contentment out of that. Now, what you look for? All doors must open, as all lives must end. This door has found its end here today. Okay, so that means that putting something else in would probably be a good idea. Let's put some moth in. Let's get that there. OK, 
Okay. Strip a bit to work. And I'm just going to um, read something here about um, Suloshana. See, so she's the one that owns the Ecdysis or Ecdesis Club. Okay. Um, right, so. So it says here, um, she's extremely useful in that. Unlike other characters, you can talk to her about absolutely anything. She produces no effect, but since the timer of whatever you are speaking of is stopped, she has no cooldown. This allows you to keep limited duration card almost indefinitely, as long as you don't need to talk to someone else by constantly talking to her about it. Okay, that's kind of... I don't like that in terms of cheatiness. Some often used things to discuss with include... Okay, so... Contentment, if you're fighting dread and have a bad, if, if you're fighting dread and have a bad timing, okay. Um, glimmering, erudition, vitality, and they're a lesson learned for you, especially when trying to raise the skills to the highest level, and more anecdotally with studying two lores to make a higher one. Various powerful influences when they arrive at the wrong time, your job to avoid losing it while you're Forming rituals, writing for commissions, painting, or doing some alternative work. A favor from authority, if you see, would be useful, but get it to, you can speak to. But aspect secret histories to unlock new locations. Okay, so that's the one aspect secret histories is the one that we want. So it looks like all secret histories. We can uncover stuff with her. So that's what we're going to do. But I want to see, so said we could talk to, to her about this erudition. What does that actually do though? I want to see. See Lashana subs out her cigarette. Yes, if you want to study language, me. It's not the language you want to study. Let's put this in here and see what it actually does. So I'm hoping it doesn't just keep the timer going. I hope she actually gives, because it says if you want to um, raise the skill to a higher level. This is what you do. So let's see if that actually works. Otherwise, I want to find secret histories and chat with her about it. Maybe she gives a hint. That'll help us with that. So contentment's gone in there. That's good. Accept that. Now, the interesting thing is we need to find some dread right or we or we could just just avoid fascination for a while yeah let's just do that let's avoid fascination oh Hope, hopefully this hasn't it is almost impossible to stand upright in this place but the air is foul and our lamps burn low here is the warrior king staked out on the funeral stone his bones smashed to keep him from walking the orbits of his skull are bound with bronze Okay, another fleeting reminiscence. Be up there. Oh, it looks like we're we're done there. Um, but now I want to use you and you. Okay, so let's do all that here. So we pop you back. We got an icy atmosphere. Okay. We got some notoriety that he's going to be interested in. Enid is back. Neville. Okay, we got some funds. Eldritch. And you two should just swap places, I think. Yeah, there we go. Now let's see what we actually got. Meteoric bullets. Okay. 
the book of the centipede bone flute we have one of those already i think gray dawn oil and there's one other one back there right well let's pull these out and we'll see so you go over here You go there. No, we don't have a bone flute already. We read about bone flute though at some stage. And we got piebald pigment. Okay. All very interesting. So we'll read about those. But while we're doing that, we're going to translate this. In the mid 1860s, one Madame Yi presented an entertainment based, presented an entertainment base she claimed on this book okay it's auctionable written in greek okay let's use a greek then to translate it start that now we use health and do that so I'm trying to get some, well, hang on. You took that. Okay. Well, that's fine. I didn't need to what I did there then. Right. And then what did she actually do? Is she disappointed? It's difficult to tell with Soloshana. Okay. So didn't we really do anything? I want to talk about this then and see what this does. Then there, what are you? A fortune teller. I see things. I see that you're different. This hireling may be useful for some expeditions and help with hunters and annoyances. Okay, I don't need you at the moment though. It's good that you see that I'm different though, because obviously I am different. Being all special and all. It's not like you tell everyone that, right? Fortune teller person. You wouldn't do that, would you? Try to convince everyone to special so that they give you money. That'd be dishonest. But right, he's on the hunt. We have our notoriety. Oh, and we don't have anything to distract him. So he's going to pick it up straight away. Yep, here it goes. So we're going to have tentative evidence. Put this first. A furtive truth. Okay, so we're going to take that. Many of the dead enter the mansions through the white door. They wander its corridors in silence until they are lost. Some embrace each other. Some devour each other. Some force their way into the dreams of the living. A few record their memories on the mansion stone where it is soft. They scratch it with their nails, you see. Last night I read one of those memories. Okay, cool. So now, once that's done, I'm going to talk to her about it and see what it does. Then you gave us a fleeting reminiscence. You gave us a book we can now read, which we're going to do. The centipede always found her way into the dark places. When she was punished for it, she reacted badly. In the mantis as Mia. In the mantis as in me. Mia, I guess. Okay. Let's run that on. Okay, so, um, well, if she's disappointed, we don't know. Let's have a chat about this with her, though. There we go. Put that in there and see what it says. Ah, as to that, okay, as to that one. Fair or not, I must be careful, the company I keep. Good idea with this guy in the prowl. Well done. We could get lucky and he mightn't find anything, but it's hard to, that's really his hopeful, wishful thinking already. Oh, but you, we should definitely be using. OK, 
Okay, so what did he do? He got Tent of Evidence. I'm certain that my adversary has lodged a copy of their notes elsewhere. With a solicitor, with a supervisor, even with a contact in the press. This is troubling. Okay, it means we've got to keep our heads down for a while. Okay, new book done. The river runs through the sands out of the myth and into legend. The painted river runs the other way. One is barred to the centipede now, but she finds ways back in sometimes. A forgotten chronicle. Okay, cool. It's another one that we can use. Uh, let's give you your tentative evidence. There you go, buddy. Keep it close to you. Just in case somebody steals from you. <coughs> and we got all these to read as well, but we will do this first. Sula Shanna hands you a printed slip of paper. These are the numbers this month. Be sure you get the right platform. Much easier to get there now, hmm? There was a time when you'd have had to pass the wrong door. And I have better things to do, she chuckles richly. Kerishim. Ah, so she... So we talked to her about that. Huh. Okay, so she gave us that. Thank you for that. Now let's talk to her about this new one. Where is the new one? Anybody see the new? We, we got a new one. Where is it? Somebody ate my new one. Where is it? Is it behind here somewhere? No. We did get a new one, right? The dread sitting over there as well. Realize that. Oh, there it is there. Okay. Right, let's see what she says about this. Now I want to go on tons of expeditions, but he's not going to let us. You could obviously deal with him, but I don't really want to deal with him. I want to just. I think being careful is, is the better way than just trying to take him out. I've done some good. My patients are quieter than when I began. Okay, good. Start that. But what I want to do is see if we can actually get rid of this, though. A hunter has found evidence, real or imagined, of my sins. Hunters with evidence to come... Activities become more dangerous. Evidence may survive the death of the hunter who created it. Aspect evidence level. Okay, so. I want to check. How do we get rid of tentative evidence then? Because I believe some of our people actually have the ability to at least try to do it. Whether it's a good idea for them to do it or not now is a different thing. Okay, so high and moth aspect. Oh, we have to talk to him, so we can't do talking yet. Okay, we're back in the mantis. Right, we don't rest in this. We're going to go for the lodge again, because we went orchard, lodge. Now it's going to be lodge, then orchard. So we've got another forgotten chronicle. Means another place that we can go to. Okay, this seems to be different. Last night I visited the Lodge of the Sage Knight. My hostess manifested a elegant woman with fashionable short hair and dark glasses. No, she admits. I don't need them anymore. Any more than I need eyes. Allow me my sentimentalities. But you've come for knowledge, I expect. Here's the story I heard in my Hersham days. You're welcome to it. Or remember me if you come to make the pilgrimage. Okay, interesting. So she's talking about Kerishim, which is this place here. Ooh, nice to know. Cheers. Okay, let's run things on. Right, that's going to be 
bit of trouble. So let's do this. Get ready for it. Have some vitality ready. Not that we need to save funds, but it's just nice to to be aware of what you can do when you need to. Okay, and she's done. Here, this will get you to the last mile, and then you'll have to walk. There's little auberge I used to stay at when I went, but I burnt it down. She likes a cigarette. <laughs> she burnt nice. The unnumbered stones. Cool. Yeah, talking to her is, is brilliant. Let's just keep on chatting. You're my new favorite person to talk to now. Okay, so now things have to move over again. And you go there. So now we've got two of those, which I'm guessing are again, high level, higher level. Maybe they're not higher level, but they, they seem it. So that's red. Actually, we should, we should go here. We could dream with funds, but I'd rather do this. So we're going to get some erudition out of it. Tonight's performance is a desultory affair of flapping scarves and earnest flesh. The audience turns to conversation. I spent the evening swapping theories with a table full of charlatans, posers, and perhaps initiates. Some of these theories may be true. Okay, so now if I dream you with you, get rid of you, then we've got our vitality which can sit there for now. We've also got that, which we're going to dream after those. Click that. When she's done, we'll try doing the moth thing with that. We still have all of these to read about as well. Here. This will get you to the last, okay, same thing as before and the same place. Okay. So now you have two of those. Oh, they're, they're actually stacked as well. Good. Right now, some with high mark. Okay. So let's try you. Seems significant conversations in a smoky meeting room. What do we need from my follower? Let's talk about that. How's about that? My scheme will most likely succeed. There's always a chance something will go awry. Hey, that's fair enough. But if it, if it succeeds, it means we get to go on another expedition a lot sooner than we would have. So I'm happy with that. Right. So let's start reading about these things. The sacred chrism of the sword, also an attractive silver green. Grey Dawn Oil, the precise colour of the hour when one cannot sleep. That happens a lot lately now, given the heat. Meteoric Bullet. Tainite iron bullets are occasionally dug from the skeletons of unusual beasts across Europe, the Middle East and India. Someone has been hunting monsters. Okay, then the bone flute. Its sound will cease. Okay, highball pigment from the crushed wings of rare lepidopterans. Painting black or painting white. This is the stuff that'll see you right. Okay, cool. Um, and I think we've done all of those ones. Right, so let's run things on. Okay, we get a fleeting reminiscence out of that, which can move 
there. And there's another one. We don't stack though. I guess anything with a timer doesn't stack, right? Well, it's kind of a bit late to be making that observation this far into the playthrough, but such is life. And so you gave us some restlessness, which is going to decay into dread, which you'll have to deal with at the time. But we can do that at the time. How's she doing? I await words. I certainly do. My minion has returned. The evidence has been destroyed. I'm a little safer. Well done. Nice. Okay. Now. Let me see. I'm wondering if we put this one in. So we've got this sending, right? So I want to see what sending actually means. Oh, it's like a summoning. Okay, so we don't actually need to take it with us. Right. So, Cat is going to be the leader. Then, want some with some edge. More edge than that. We can always knock later. Forge. Oops. Okay, well, let's check through them. So, Rose, I think Rose is going to go. It's going to be Cat and Rose. Then put the funds in. Slink along the streets to a once fine townhouse, surreptitiously case the back garden. Odd stories circulate about the woman who lives here. She might be an adept, a collector, or even the rare thing called Mposa. We must be watchful. Okay. So we got plenty of lantern, which will hopefully help us in being watchful. Oh, and... Ooh, I almost screwed this up. There we go. You two need to go in there. That would have been bad. You just stay there until you're gone. Hey, buddy, you don't have any evidence anymore. How's the feel? Those two can cancel each other out. Okay, you need something else now. Our expedition plans for the next challenge. It'll consume funds. Okay, so let's see what the next challenge is. So there are enemies. Okay, then this one. We need heart or winter to suppress this curse. Otherwise, it will not keep us. It will not keep us from our goal, but it may trouble us later. Okay. Heart or winter. We've got heart. Is there anyone that has both? We've got Grail. She's got Knock. Hope has Lantern. She's got Forge, Dorothy, Heart. She's 
he's got winter. You got winter and forge. He is knock. Forge and winter. And winter. Okay. Right, let's go with all clear for now. Here's our dread. So once those are done, we can use you two together. Cancel out. Right. And while we're at it, I want to talk about this lore and see if we can find another person. Hey, what we need now. The watchers aren't ready for us. We should be able to bring them down. Okay, so... Hmm... I don't want someone edge to go. I think it's going to be Elridge. Hey, yeah, got a health back. You two can sort that out. Their blood plumps bright, then dark. They should not have opposed us. We move on. Yeah, them pretty easy, I'd say. Okay, and then what we've got here. My curiosity is becoming a physical need. Okay, so you're going to become dread. You take my reason, that's fine. It's pretty reasonable. Nice. Beautiful pun there, right? Amazing. Okay, what do we need now? Our some plans for the next challenge. It'll consume funds. Okay. So knock or forge, I guess. Okay. In the key was knock and edge. She should definitely go. There. Right, you're looking for dread, and they're gonna find it because it's gonna become, yeah, it's gonna be coming into play. So we should do that. Let's try and get contentment to be ready to deal with you. Right, what have we got now? We are skilled in uncovering ward, warded ways. We'll probably penetrate this warded door. Okay. So warded door. He's, you're going to be able to help with that. There we go. We bear great power of opening. We'll almost certainly shatter this warded door. There we go. We like to see. There's a dread gun in there. Okay, and then here, peculiar rumor and some mystique. Okay. So what do you do? This might lead to someone I need, or it might mean something else. Explore with a rumor to follow up on it. Ah, uh, we can't do it, unfortunately, because this is going to go for a long time. And I'm not putting it in there just to keep it around. So we'll do this. And we'll chat again and see what we get. There's our 
contentment. So when you're ready, you can take it. And more contaminants. Yeah, that rumor is gone because this is not going to be the last part of this. Right, what do we need now? Supplies are low and let's just send more funds. Okay. So straight up cash. There you go. should do as well is it should keep on keeping on with you right rumor is gone what rumor Okay, and you're going to get that. Okay, and I guess we're going to end that one. So hope you have enjoyed. Hope you're keeping safe right there. And hope to see you next time. Goodbye. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, maybe consider hitting the subscribe button there on the right. Or checking out some other videos here on the left. Or perhaps you might even share with some friends.